Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is John Yu, aka Boomy Trader. So we're here at the halftime show. So we, what we want to do, nag-usapan natin mga movers, okay? Mga malaking inakyat, mga bubagsak. Ano yung reason, bakit sila umakyat, or bakit sila bubagsak. So we'll be talking about them one by one, going through their charts one by one. So as you all know, holiday no Monday, but itong last two days has sobrang intense. Movers left and right. So we will try our best to um, go over them one by one. So the goal of this video is just to update you guys on what's happening sa market. Market news, um, news updates, so mga hindi nakasubaybay masyado. So this is a way for you to get an update midweek. Kung ano nangyayari sa market. Diba? Hindi kayo nakatingin, mayroon kayong day job. Or you just want a piece of what I think about certain stocks that moved, anong news. So here is an avenue for it. Okay, I'll try my best to talk slowly so you guys can follow the charts and the news. So I've been getting some requests that you've been talking too fast. Okay, so I'll try to get a mic soon because na siya yung mic ko. So um, let's go. Daming gumalaw. Exciting times ahead. So uh, every time we want to start by looking at the PSEI. So well, let's zoom in. Last week, two weeks ago, nakita natin sobrang lakas ng stock market. Itong move na to, grabe. 10% move in one whole week. So nakita natin last week, nag-correct siya. Which is a natural correction, by the way. So that's a healthy correction to the 10-day MA. Okay? So, syempre, kailangan ng profit take. After the profit take, then we continue to move higher. But we will see a resistance here at the 6550 area, the previous high last week or two weeks ago. So what? let's talk about the movers now. So um, here, we'll just click on the stocks on the side. Okay, so let's start off with um, this one, my big blue chips. So we've seen the Jollibee move super strong. Right, so lakas ito, no? So what? It's up today six percent. So sa blue chip company, this is very very big. Sa kamagitan ng six percent up in a day, in a very very in this, itong blue chip na to, no? So we've seen this move. If you notice, just this month of October, uh, October it's up. Nang twenty five percent, no? So what happened here? We've seen this move. Itong move na to was during sinabi nila na yung smash burger unit nila, um, yung burger chain sa US na they acquired, na kumikita sa ng pera for five straight months profitable. So at this time also, um, sinabi nila around here, they reported that they opened their they announced that they opened their first Tim Ho Wan branch in Shanghai. And then they also said they want to increase their stake at Tim Ho Wan franchise to be able to operate throughout Asia. So I think that will, that plays a bigger role, big role here on the kaya gumagalaw siya pa ataas. And then we can see the its peers following up. So ano ba to? Yung, ito yung tinatawag natin rotation. Rotation base. So we can see shakies move higher. So we can see the shake is move higher. So ito, from last week, it's at 650. If you bought there, you're up 14% in five days. So we've seen, um, syempre, um, metong, ma, anong ginagawa yung sa house? Papadeliver ka ng pizza. Even, uh, even though nakaklose yung stores, um, nagpapad, kumakain pa rin yung mga ibang tao. Syempre, they opt to stay dining at home. So they just call um, shake to deliver. So Yun. So it's picking up. Also, same with Maxis. Ito, mas mahina. This one owns Yellow Cab, Maxis group of um, companies. So, ito umakit then, right? So it is follow, follow, nagpa-follow lang sa mga iba, nag-rotate yung mga funds, right? SSI also, same thing. thing. Grabe ito, lakas nito. So for, for the ones who caught it here, sa mga students ko, Congratulations, isang student ko nag-post siya dyan. So he got it at around 119. So now he's, he's up around 20%, right? Pero kung magaling ka, nakuha mo dito sa bottom, it's you're up around 35% or 30% right now. So saan mo kukunin yun? Uh, last month, in the past 
past few months, August, September, walang ganitong galaw. So ngayon lang natin nakikita sila nag emerge So it might be best to take advantage of it, right? Okay, so um, up next will be, ano ba yung mga movers? Um, we can see DFNN move higher, but volume is a little bit thin because meron, um, may news about gaming na they allow local operators to accept online bets. So that will be positive for the movers for today. Nakikita nyo, puro casinos. PLC is a casino. City of Dreams. And we can see Bloom also up 7% here because of that news. Okay, ano pang ibang gainers? Nickel Asia is a gainer. Also, we can see this in a clear uptrending. We can see this in a clear uptrend channel. Okay, one straight line here. Okay, same goes with... Mga FNI, still in an uptrend above the 50 day MA. Mark Ventures, let's check it out. Same parento, but weaker. So nickel is uh, the leader. Mining naman, we have Felix. This is consolidating here at the top. Ayan, nandyan siya. APX is also here, finding support at 1.8. So if you want to buy this at a position trading, you can buy it at 1.88 and put your stop at 1.79. So that is very, very easy. We saw PXP move also. It's um today medyo nag high ng 13.50 pero nag recede. So this is a little bit syempre nagkakaroon ng profit taking bucket. So since Friday, if you from 11, it went up to 13.50. That's almost 20% in the last three days. So if you were if you bought it at 11 and you're up 20 percent in the last three days i will might as well take some profit off the table and move it somewhere else na hindi pa gumagalaw. that's why we see a lot of stocks out of the blue emerging from my reversal because of this we can see a lot of um like me if i sold my pxp today maghahanap po ka ng ibang stock na gusto kong bilhin ano pa ba hindi gumagalaw sa pupunta ko sa mga um titingnan ko yung mga maxes, titingnan ko yung mga SSI, and baka tingnan ko pa tong CHP na to. So we can see this CHP, this is, has a nice chart. It has been consolidating after this huge run. So if the, after this huge run, at the first run, it's up 76%, we can see this as, as a natural correction. This is um this correction here, a sideways consol consolidation is natural. We can see the MACD also fully corrected but we can what what stands out is adx is at 46 meaning there is a strong momentum meaning this has a higher chance for mag break out tomorrow so we maybe we can see two two for next week or 190 that's very very possible so might you might want to put this to so watch list nyo. okay so we have yeah, pizza, same then, diba? Papa deliver ka. So this was trending. So you want to enter this as enter this, um, wait for it. Don't chase, just wait because it's been um lakana ng inakat niya. Um okay, for the top losers, we can see Dito Telecom. So of course, market siya ng sobrang taas, more than hundred percent to the top, 125%. So it, this is a natural again, natural correction. We can see this go moving sideways. It can also possible to see it going go to 50 day MA. So sa 5 pesos po yun, 50 day MA niya. Hindi po impossible yan because dahil 2, 2 pesos lang yan, 250 hanggang 750. Kung, kung nangyari yun, posible rin siya pumuntang 5, mag-correct. Then after that, move higher. So recently, nagre-report sila na yung 5G nila, um, they want to be the leader. Cell sites sila are up, completed na yung mga requirements ng cell site. It will be, nagmeron sila ng news na may stores na sila, mag-open sila ng mga stores sa mall. So that's why we've seen it move up, move higher last week. But now, we can see some profit taking because of the rotation of funds. Home, we can see this, wow, lakas. So, siguro, home improvement, parang, parang hardware din to. So, yan, mga nag-shopping, ito, reversal. Um, we can see a lot of funds rotating here. IMI naman, umakyat today. We can see, nag-report ng earnings last week. So, earnings niya malakas daw of third quarter. 
So it's around this one. So after that burst, nagpahinga lang siya. Nagpahinga lang siya dito, two days, and then boom, continuation today. So I bought that and sold it for a quick buck. Today, binenta ko. So itong line na to nakita na sa taas, what's that? That's the resistance because it tested it three times na. So we can zoom out. Ito yung first. Ito yung first. Ito yung second. And now the third. So this yung key resistance levels, right? Um, ito WPI, top loser. Okay, so why? Why did it go from 40 umakit ng 70 plus? 70% almost. Ngayon, pag sa close na, up ka pa rin ng 50%, di ba? So, this is a mover. Why? Because na-approve yun, nakakuha sila ng license. Na parang meron silang pending court case for the license and then recently na-approve si na-award sa kanila. Excuse me. Na-award sa kanila yung license na yun. And then, um, looking, looking at the news, Sabi nila, they plan to build a casino in the Pagor Entertainment City. So, this one is a stock to watch also. So, here, this is just a normal profit taking. Okay, This, this move just started out of a neglect. This one, walang nangyayari for the past year. Then, bigla today, it spike because of that news. So, there might be some development. So, we will put this in our watch list. Okay. Um, MRC, it's into renewable energy. So, we can see this. Moving in an uptrending channel. So, lakas, di ba? So, nagkaroon ng pause days, pause days. So, yan, packet na ng packet. It's up 10% today. So, yan, ganda rin. So, ang daming mga chances. You can see LTG also. Um, grabe, monster to last two weeks. It's up 43% last two weeks ago. So, ngayon, nagkakaroon ng consolidation. I think now it's found its support um, sa 11.5. So, if you want, you can buy the 12 and put your stop at around 11.5. PNB naman, same move. Yan, umakit din. So, ngayon, medyo mas malakas din to. So, this has been an, in a reversal. Galing po tong 50 plus. Pag the high 60 plus. So, ngayon, yan, nagkaroon ng nagkakonsolidate lang po dito sa ilalim. Then ngayon, dito ulit. So, baka another leg before it moves higher. So, we have that. May, may, may remark. Ito, walang momentum. Because momentum is at momentum is at 20, 25. Meron na ngayon. Pero slowly but surely siya. Pero 20% na rin inakit niya from 3 pesos. So, this one, may chance pa umakit. But slowly but surely. So, chill lang siya, position trade lang siya. We see Macro Asia also move pero walang news. So, baka talagang nagro-rotate yung mga pera ng mga, maraming pera mga tao. Wala akong news dito so hindi ko alam ba't siya gumagalaw. Okay, so um, itong mga win and ace, it's part of um, the WPI group. So, I think sumabay lang siya dun sa emotions na nag sila. So, that's why we can see them fading now. Fest, win, yan, same yan sa WPI. Ace then kahapon gumalaw with biglaan lang itong mga to, third liners. So, the um, tugs yan. Uptrend pa rin yung tug. So, uh, may chance pa rin umakyat. LC mining. Ganda rin pa rin ang nilipanto. This is just sense. So, just be careful when you're playing with penny stocks. So, if you want a quick guide with that, I meron nga akong blog dyan. So, you can just um, go to, the, to my blog and check it out for... Um, a detailed detailed step by step um, way to trade penny stocks nandun yun sa website ko johnedwardu.com so yes um dami gumalaw no so it's it's basically up up to you guys what kind of strategy you, you want we have a lot of charts moving so it depends on what kind of trader you are are you a swing trader are you a day trader are you a position trader so all of those um strategies will apply at the current market environment but i think it's better to have a shorter time frame now because the market has gone up we want to take advantage of the other ones moving if they're switching we want to move our money where Sunshine switch. 
But if you are a long-term investor and then nabili mo siya at a lower cost, let's say you got SSI at 1 peso, you're now up 50%, you want to have a position trade on that, then okay, that's your style. So you can do that as well. So the game here is if you're buying at an expensive price and you might want to take profits earlier. And then if you caught it at a lower price that you think na hindi nababababad sa price time. Let's say meron kong Jollibee na 100. I don't think Jollibee will go down to 100. If you gusto mo mag-chill na lang, trend follow ka, no problem there. Okay? So, iba-iba. So, we have an opportunity here. Um, November pa lang, no? So, leading on to Christmas, we have a lot of opportunity to, to make money. So, let's take advantage of this. Let's help each other. So, I get, I, I hope this video helped you guys a lot. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at boomyuniversity at gmail.com or visit my website at johnedwardu.com. Um, a lot of useful stuff there. Premium members, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Let's talk about our stock picks and um, a summary of um, this week's trading week. Guys, if you go to Somali, just email me. We, it's basically something like this, but in a more detailed way. And we talk about other stocks as well, not just the movers. Okay. So thank you for watching. God bless you guys. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Mga ka-halftime show. Thank you for watching. Bye.